Hi guys, today we are reviewing the Xiaomi 10,000 milliamp hours power bank. Um, we have the package with some information in Chinese, which I can't read. We have the Genuinity logo right here, and we have the nice me.com on the back. Let's keep the talk and just go ahead and open the package. So what we have here in the package, we have a second package, which comes out, and the user manual. There is nothing more in the package, let's put it aside. The user manual is completely in Chinese, just have a small explanation about the Genuinity logo, I believe, here. And what I can read is um, that the input is up to 2.1 amps and the output is up to 2 amps. This is the only thing I can understand from this leaflet, so let's just simply put it aside. Then we have the most interesting things in here. The first thing is the power bank. This model is in gold. We have the, 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 the big description here in the back, which says 10,000, I don't know if you can see it. It's quite very, very, well, it's quite lightly on written, but here you can see, the, again, the input is 2 amps, I believe, and the output is 2.1. Well, I'm getting kind of confused with this, but yeah, let's stay with that, okay? <laughs> Up here we have a simple button to check the the capacity, or with, let's say that the power remaining. Here we have the micro USB input and the USB output. If we press it, we can see the power bank is fully charged. And it will blink again. There we go. Okay. Um, the branding itself, you have the nice me here in the front, and in the back you have again the me.com. Okay. A part of the, the power bank itself, there is a small cable, which is a micro USB cable. I think the cable is quite nice, but there is a but to it. It's, it's not because it's short or whatever, it's actually nicely designed. But I have had some issues with this cable. The cable doesn't seem to, ha to handle as much amperage as the 2 amps for sure. But I've had some issues when charging with my Li 202. I had some small issues about getting the 2 amps into the charger. Or even 1 amp. It was always failing, so I, I don't know if it's the cable. But what I know is once I changed the cable to the original of these, it worked. So I believe this cable isn't as good as you might think, although the design is nice. Well, I just want to keep it there and not say too, too many bad things about it, which I'm not sure. Okay, so let's put this aside. And let's go ahead with the first test. Power line, 2 amp brick, which is really a 2 amp brick. <laughs> Tester. We can see it, plug it in, as simple as that, and plug it into the power bank. And we have 1.2 amps drawing. So yeah, seems to handle, handle over an amp. Yes, what I have to say, just about what I said about the cable is, when using it with the power bank to charge the power bank, I haven't had any issues. When using it to charge batteries, for example with the Li 200 or 2, I get issues. So I don't know where exactly the problem is, maybe there's too much resistance as the cables are too thin, because the whole thing is really thin, okay? But let's put this aside, as we don't need a cable anymore right now. Just gonna take the tester, and gonna use the USB output, just to check the amperage. So it already came on. I'm gonna get my USB load, which I have right here. Just a simple load which I can adjust how much load it should go off. I'm just gonna adjust it down as I had it adjust quite high for a small test I did before. I'm gonna plug it in and it goes up to zero points. Let's put it on one amp. There we go. We got it on one amp now and it's drawing easily and we're at 4.87, it's almost 4.9. I'm gonna pull it up to two amps which is the rated or 2.1. Let's put it on 2 amps, I'm, I'm, I'm at 2 amps exactly, and I'm having 4.74 volts. If I pull it up now to 2.1, let's say, there we go, 2.1 amps, still at 4.7, and now I'm just going to pull it up all the way until it doesn't go anymore. So there we go, 2.2, 2.3, 2.4, 2.5, 2.6, 2.7, 2.8, 2.9, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.60, 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, 2.65, 2.66, 2.67, 2.68, 2.69, 2.70, 2.71, 2.72, 2.73, 2.74, 2.75, 2.76, 2.77, 2.78, 2.79, 2.80, 2.81, 2.82, 2.83, 2.84, 2.85, 2.86, 2.87, 2.88, 2.89, 2.90, 2.91, 2.92, 2.93, 2.94, 2.95, 2.96, 2.97, 2.98, 2.99, 2.10, 2.11, 2.12, 2.13, 2.14, 2.15, 2.16, 2.17, 2.18, 2.19, 2.20, 2.21, 2.22, 2.23, 2.24, 2.25, 2.26, 2.27, 2.28, 2.29, 2.30, 2.31, 2.32, 2.33, 2.34, 2.35, 2.36, 2.37, 2.38, 2.39, 2.40, 2.41, 2.42, 2.43, 2.44, 2.45, 2.46, 2.47, 2.48, 2.49, 2.50, 2.51, 2.52, 2.53, 2.54, 2.55, 2.56, 2.57, 2.58, 2.59, 2.60, 2.61, 2.62, 2.63, 2.64, 2.65, 2.66, 2.67, 2.68, 2.69, 2.70, 2.71, 2.72, 2.73, 2.74, 2.75, 
and 4.6 volts and let's just try to go even higher 3.1 and 3.2 and it cut off okay let's try it again there we go 3.2 and it went off this is the power bank protecting feature this is not any of these two because if I put it down a little bit the power bank will work and this is the power bank itself shutting off now we had, we're at 3 amps and it stays on yes it does it stays on if I pull it slightly over it 3 3.05 3.09 3.1 3.14 3.17 and it goes off. This is the power bank protecting as this, although it's getting hot, but this handles much more with the fan. So there is for sure a protection in the power bank. Now I don't know if, if it's just simply overheating any component or simply an overcurrent protection for the output. As it's rated obviously at 2 amps and I'm drawing over 3 amps, so it's totally, per uh, totally okay that it shuts off. And even it's a protect protection feature, so it's good. Okay. Another thing to note, which I have not here, it hasn't arrived yet, but there is a, let's say there is a, a black, um, well, not a black, I ordered a black one, but there are kind of like silicone uh, cases for them, which look like a tube basically, um, where you can put them in. I've saw people using them, you can put them on, and you have like a nice protection for your power bank, and it's like a rubbery, silicone y, simple thing it costs like two dollars or three dollars to put over and the whole thing is protecting even against bumps like this or like this or whatever and it just gives it a nice feel it's not so slippery in your hand and well let's be honest this thing is for usage this is not to keep the beauty or so it's for usage it's not expensive it's like it's under 18 17 18 dollars it's under it and you can protect it but I don't care about some 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 scratches because it's, it's an item to be used and if I use it daily or let's say a few times a week in about three four maybe five years the batteries are gonna be very low on capacity and you're gonna throw it away anyway so who cares about a few scratches um, what I have to say is the 10,000 milliamp hours are quite real I can charge my Lee called Lee 1S about 1.5 to 2 times with some moderate usage on it at the, t at the same time and well when I use it at the same time I couldn't charge it two times fully but it's normal I have another power bank which is the easy which is the easy ACC which is also 10,000 milliamp hours and the, and the results are about the same thank you very much for watching this video in particular the link is gonna be in the video description as I said the item was bought on Gearbest and you will see it in the video description the link if you're interested in it there are also two more colors which is the pink and the gray color i hope you enjoyed the video i wish you merry christmas